Hello, football coaches and football players. My name is Alan from Football Coach Alan, and today I'm going to show you some of my top 10 flag football plays that will get you a very short pass. So hello everybody, my name is Alan from Football Coach Alan. You might also have known me from Basketball Coach Alan. If you're a basketball coach or player, go check that channel out. But anyways, so today I'm going to show you some of my top 10 flag football plays that I have seen over my time of playing well flag football. So let's get down to the clipboard and I will show you these plays. So what I mean by a short pass is usually a pass that's roughly within 30 yards. So we have obviously 1, 2, 3, 30 yards. So we're going to try and aim for within 40 uh, yard line there. If we get more, we get more. So we have player 1, which is our quarterback. We're going to get that ball back to him. We're going to hut hit him to him. And from there, we're going to have player 4. He is going to go straight down to about the 30 yard line. He is still obviously looking for the ball but he's going to cut back in towards this direction. We're then going to have player three. He is going to be cutting up about 10 yards, and we're going to have player seven going up about 20 yards. We're then going to have player two. He's going to be blocking, so he's going to move up usually about five yards and block. And then after he's finished blocking, if there is nobody to block four, he's going to go and then cut left towards the left sideline we may have a player open here here somewhere along here as well as along there so if these are the areas that you're trying to target they are going to do really really well in our next play we're going to have again the ball coming back to the quarterback for obvious reasons and we're going to have player seven he's going to go up about 30 yards and he's going to cut back down to the right side we're going to have player two he is going to go up and block and then if he's not blocking anybody he's going to turn around if he's open and he may be open at roughly 10 to 15 to 20 yards we're going to have then player three cutting up and across to the left. And we're going to have player four cutting up about that 20 yard line as well to the right. What we're hoping for here is for the defensive players to get caught up with each other, almost like a screen in basketball. And one of those two players may be open right there. Now in our third football play, what we're going to have is obviously the quarterback getting it again we're gonna have player two going up and blocking if he's not blocking anybody he's going to turn around and he's going to be looking for the ball that's a simple pass because well he is straight on next we're gonna have player seven going around this way behind the quarterback acting like he's going to be getting it handed off to him however he's not he's going to go back up to about the 5 to 10 yard line and he's going to cut right. He could hand it off if there was nobody following player 7. Player 3 will then cut left up well, up about 10 yards and then left and then we're going to have player 4. He is going to go and start going left right away about 10 yards and then he's going to cut right about another 10 yards. This is going to be an area where if you need to stop the clock if you've got a clock in your flag football game, then you can get to the sideline using player four. So now in our fourth play, we're going to have player two get the ball back to player one. We're going to have player two and player three block for two seconds if we can block the player who is defending, whoops, player one. And from there, what we're going to have is player seven. He is going to cut right. After about a five-yard run, he's going to cut right. And then he's going to go straight up and then right one more time. This will be five yards each time. And then we're going to have player four. He's going to go up about 10 yards and cut right. These two players, once they finish blocking, they're going to turn around if, to see if they are open. Now in play number five, we're going to have a very clumped together line. These guys are all shoulder to shoulder. And what we are going to have is still players two and three, shoulder to shoulder, 
blocking the way. If you have no rules in your league that they have to cross five yards, they can stay right there shoulder to shoulder and they can be a perfect screen for your quarterback. Next, player four is going to go up about five yards and then cut right. And player seven is going to go up about five yards and cut left. Now in play number six, we're going to have player three going up and blocking one more time. We're going to have player seven, five yards, and then right. Player four is going to be ten yards and then right. And we're going to have player two. He's going to go straight up about 30 yards and then he's going to cut back down. And then he may be open on his way back down. This is what we're hoping for here is for him to come back down, catch the ball, and then cut, cut right up the middle of the field. Now in our seventh football play here, we're going to have player three. No block in here. He's just going to go straight right. We're going to have player seven go up about five to ten yards, and then he's going to cut right. And then we're going to have players four and two crossing. Usually this will confuse the defenders and there will be a player open in one of those two spots. Now in our eighth flag football play, what we're going to have is player three going up and blocking, player seven cutting up the 30 yards and then right. And we're going to have player four, he's going to be cutting up and then back down to the corner right where he basically the line that he started from. Player two here is going to be cutting up across to the screener and then back up the middle of the field. Obviously, this player, these players may be open, but we may be having a player a little bit farther down at that 30-yard line, which could also turn into a touchdown as well. So not necessarily the shortest of play, plays for passing, but if you can pass 30 yards, then he could catch it here and he could have a straightaway to the obviously touchdown, the end zone. Now in our ninth flag football play that I really like to run is having players three, four, and seven setting a screen. And we're going to have player two. What he is going to do is run all the way behind the quarterback and then back about at roughly the 10 yard line or the 10 yards up line and he's going to cut across right. By these players blocking, their defenders are going to be staying home. And that means that we're going to have player two using basically all of these defenders as a screen. And he's going to be cutting up and back over, in which case the defending players here will be getting in the way for his defender, which will allow him to get open either here or over here. And in our 10th and final football play, what we will have is players three going and screening. Player seven, obviously he's going to turn around. Uh, player seven is going to be running to the sideline and then up the sideline. Player two is going to do the exact same. These players may be open for quick passes and the ability to get out of bounds really quickly. And then we're going to have player four cutting up about 15 yards and then right. Now I hope that these 10 flag football plays help your flag football team. If they do, let us know in the comments below. I love to hear back from my subscribers and my followers. Anyways, until next time, I hope to see you guys again. I got together with a trainer a few years ago and this book absolutely works. There's tons of testimonials showing that either the player has lost weight or they have jumped huge amounts higher. So it's very inexpensive. Go check it out. Link is in the description below.